Hello and welcome to a 31 Days of Horror 2018 video. Toronto After Dark edition, yes. The Toronto After Dark Film Festival has started and therefore we are going to have a slew of reviews coming from that. Both that qualify for the 31 Days of Horror and that don't qualify for the 31 Days of Horror. So they will just be reviews of those films for the Toronto After Dark Film Festival. In case you were wondering and you're new, what is the 31 Days of Horror for me, myself? Well, it is a time during October, the 31 Days of October, where I try to watch at least 31 horror films I have never seen before or I don't remember having ever seen before. Uh, it does happen sometimes where I don't remember having seen a movie and I watch it and then I realize, yes, I have seen that film and it doesn't count. I do keep track of any of the films that aren't horror as well, just, you know, for the sake of keeping track, but it doesn't matter, not for these videos. And uh, what are we talking about today? Well, we are talking about movie number six. <laughs> yes, I'm way behind. Movie number six of the 31 Days of Horror, the opening night gala. The opening night gala, we are going to... Um, Mexico, Mexico, yes, for the film Tigers Are Not Afraid, or the original title was Vuelven. This is a film by Isa Lopez. Uh, I don't expect you to know who she is. She is an up-and-comer. She is an up-and-comer, very, very, um, somebody you should definitely be looking out for. Let's just put it that way. Um, what is the film? What is the film? Well, we'll call it a a modern fairy tale. A uh, yeah, we'll go, we'll go that way. Modern fairy tale. Some uh, uh, a dark fantasy film mostly, but it does have very very distinct aspects of uh, horror built into it. Um, and essentially it takes it, I would say it combines kind of like, um, uh, what was that film? Shoot, can't remember that one that was in Brazil, but that took place in all the, the slums and something. God, God is, God is not dead, I don't know. Um, but, uh, yeah, so this sort of takes place in, uh, um, Mexican town city um, that is dealing with the problem of because of the drug cartels and the gangs and all that kind of stuff essentially all the people are being you know driven from the cities and leaving them kind of as ghost towns um, and this deals with uh, essentially like a gang <laughs> of a bunch of kids who are essentially orphaned because you know their parents have died either because they were in gangs or they were involved in violence with gangs, or perhaps they just got caught in the crossfire, or whatever. Um, and they're trying to essentially survive um, these cartels uh, and the um, uh, trying to you know survive the ghosts, ghosts created by um, everyday. Uh, this, well, this war that's been going on, right? That this 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 drug war that's going on, this endless everyday violence that's happening. Um, now, uh, it follows this group of kids. Um, most, you know, the, the original group is boys, and then they get joined by a girl. Um, and one of the boys, well, it, the, the, the whole tigers are not afraid thing, it, it comes from several aspects in the film. Um, uh, starts off with the opening, you know, opening scene is in a, in a, uh, a school and the teacher's asking him about, you know, what are some <laughs> things you find in fairy tales, right? And so they say fairies and whatever, leprechauns, blah, blah, blah. And somebody says tigers and she's like, yes, le tigre, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then eventually you find one of the little kid, you know, um, one of the graffiti, you know, well, not one of them, but the graffitis that they put out there is often, uh, of a, a tiger because there's this, um, I guess you would say it's kind of like a fairy tale about tigers 
and how you know that the tigers are not afraid how they the tigers are are um, they're killers right so they're, they're not afraid of anything so they kind of you the kids kind of latch on to the tiger as they're um, they're not afraid and and uh, um, that's their kind of like spirit animal right um, and one of the kids actually has a stuffed tiger um, and I don't want to give too much away um, but I will say that the film is if it wasn't heavily influenced by it definitely seems like it um, by the films of Guillermo del Toro um, if you're at all a fan or know his works um, especially in the dark fantasy stuff um, you will definitely see aspects of his films in this film um, not that it's you know like copying but just the style and the ideas and the way things are done um, and yeah it's it's weird it's got it's got ghosts it's got this ghost thing going on it's got um, it's more a, a drama than anything so I would say it's a dramatic dark fantasy because um, you are dealing with these kids and uh, you know and, and, and there's comedic moments right there's ki kids will be kids and when kids do things they're funny um, so you follow the kids around and, and doing their things and you know sometimes you 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 laugh with them sometimes you cry with them sometimes you you feel for them and all this kind of stuff um, as they're going about their, you know, trying to do daily, day, you know, day-to-day -day lives, right? Li living uh, in this in this terrible situation. Um, so it is very dramatic in that sense, uh, that, you know. You like, but at the same time, it also has that childhood sense of wonderment um, and uh, being able to adapt, I guess. Um, and I would say that's the most part of the film, you know, dealing with uh, these cartels. I know there's this phone that they have that uh, um, the cartels really, really want. And so they're trying to get these kids, or you know, and the kids are like, I don't want to get, you know, they're not going to get rid of the phone, right? <laughs> so it's this constant chase of, you know, these guys trying to kill these, or get these kids, and of course kill them. Um and with these kids running away and hiding and and such like that and all the while the girl in the group is seeing ghosts so she's seeing her um her, like her dead mom and um it's you, you don't quite know if it's a, a malevolent spirit or a helpful spirit or a demon or you know a ghost or something in her head or something made up I mean there are so many theories that you can come up with for this film um, and I mean I some of them are and, and, and the thing is is none of them are wrong this is the beautiful thing about this film and and the way it's shot and the way it's presented it could all be real you know the ghosts demons whatever could be real they could be completely imaginary they could be, um, they could be uh, figments of a story being told. They could, I mean, there's there's all sorts of different theories out there, um, and you really do have to watch the film to 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 understand what I'm saying. Really, um, I can't give too much away, and I don't want to give too much away about the film. Um, I was a little disappointed with it because, as as great, you know, as good as it is, I didn't see too much rewatch value in it. Um, I maybe like one more time, and then I I don't know that I'd really ever want to sit sit down and watch it again. Um, yeah, I think that would be the one. I I kind of wish there was more aspects of the fantasy and the 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 horror elements and less. And, and it's funny because people who you know. are you know, very critically praising the film probably are on the other end, and they're like, you know what, we love the drama and the interaction between the kids and that whole aspect of the story, and it was really, really, you know, like, heartfelt and, 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 and reached out to the audience and all this kind of stuff, and it's like, yeah, I, I love that, but you, 
I, I wanted more of the the fantastical elements. I wanted more of the the horror and the and the dark fairy tale and the dark fantasy and stuff. Um, I wanted more of that. Um, but uh, yeah, it's not to say that there isn't a lot in there. It's just that this film is is almost an hour and a half long, but it feels a lot longer. If if you catch my drift. It feels almost like over two hours long simply because it is so much of this drama going on. Um, it's still entertaining. Don't get me wrong. I mean, like, there are plenty of dramas out there that are very, very entertaining. And this is, this is, this is kind of in the middle. But, uh, I, yeah, I just, I wish it had more rewatch value for me. I mean, there could be other, other people have different opinions about it. They may want to, you know, this may be on top of their list. Who knows? Um, but for me, it, it was not so much. Um, <laughs> it's it's funny. It's I think the director of this film has actually uh, Guillermo del Toro has seen the film and liked it so much that he. Um, uh, got in touch with her or something like that and now I think she's working on a film either for him or with him or something like that um I don't I don't know is there anything let's see if there's anything online about what she's working on right now Toto Mal. I don't think that's it. No. I don't know. We just got word at the festival that she was de working on something right now, and Guillermo del Toro was wanting to work with her with a, you know, a future project or a current project or something like that. So, um, obviously, if Guillermo, like, it, like I said, it has very much aspects of Guillermo del Toro in it. Uh, <laughs> so, it's, it's not... Um, Surprising, because I mean Guillermo does watch a lot of movies. Uh, you know, anybody who knows him knows that that's that's the the you know a fact. Um, so for him to um, like it so much that he wants to actually work with this person, um, not surprising. It is a very very well done movie, and it's right up his alley, right up his alley. Um, I'm gonna give it. I'll probably get, I'm gonna say it's a 3.5 out of five in terms of stars. I would like to go to four, but again, no rewatch value. I'm gonna bump it down, keep it in the 3.5 uh, area. Um, great drama. Love the fantastical elements, and uh, though I thought they felt a little out of place, the horror elements, um, I liked them as well. So, a lot to like about this film. Um, Will you be able to check it out? I don't know. I do not know. I, I'm i guessing it's going to come up somewhere because apparently it's been doing really, really well on the festival circuit. So you will be able to see Tigers Are Not Afraid, I'm sure, eventually. I just don't know when. So keep your eyes peeled. It's it's going to be called Tigers Are Not Afraid. The English language title will definitely... I'm, I'm almost positive that's what's going to be used. That's what everybody's referring it to uh, as. Um, the Vuelven, I've never even heard reference to that title anywhere so um yeah uh there is my thoughts on tigers are not afraid mexican movies some of them are really really good <laughs> anyways let me know if you've seen the film down below what did you think? Keep it spoiler free as always thanks for watching more 31 days of horror 2018 to come Keep watching.